Welcome back in, everybody. It's the Denver Post, Parker Gabriel, Ryan McFadden on the Broncos beat out here at uh, training camp. Day three, this is the Denver Post four downs, four most interesting things we saw and heard today. Uh, interesting, but not good for the Broncos today on the wide receiver front. Uh, Tim Patrick went down with an apparent Achilles injury, uh, uh, left Achilles, uh, still waiting on official official word on the diagnosis but obviously not trending in a good direction there he just went down during a seven on seven drill non-contact ryan hush kind of comes over the crowd and teammates too and if he is indeed out for the year that's a big loss for denver yeah it's a huge loss that, that was one of the talks in the offseason is being able to see tim patrick jerry judy and Cortland Sutton all play together uh, they did not trade Jerry Judy or Cortland Sutton ahead of the NFL draft. So it, you, it was a sense that they were confident in that group as a yeah. whole. Tim Patrick, it's a brutal blow for him. He was missing last year with torn ACL. He looked very good during the offseason programs. He was moving around well. He was moving around through the first few days of training camp. And you, it was a lot of optimism towards towards that group. So you, that was just a big blow for for. For that offense. Yeah, and it's not just him today. We we also learned that uh, the Broncos waived KJ Hamler. Sort of a unique situation. Hamler already on the non football injury list with a, a pec injury that he suffered uh, as he was training on his own this offseason. And then he announced on Instagram that he also has a heart condition. Um, not real serious, although, like anything, obviously, with your heart, um, it, you got to be careful. Uh, he said he's going to take a little break from football, probably just like a few weeks as he gets treatment. So the door is open for him to come back once he's healthy. But as of uh, today, officially, he's not on the Broncos roster, which even though we didn't know exactly where he's at, I think maybe that's a little bit of a surprise at this stage. Yeah, that's a little bit of a surprise. And, and, and like I said, it's hard to see that with KJ because this is a guy who you know he the talent is there. Yep. However, he he just have not been able to stay healthy. I uh, this was once again another guy who was trying to work his back, work his way back from a torn pec injury. Someone who's looking forward to come out here to camp and just seeing him get that that uh, that heart condition uh, diagnosis. I think that's hard. That's hard to see, especially with this receivers group. Because that was like like we said, there's a lot of talent there. KJ was one of those guys, especially going to the final year of his contract, with a lot to prove. And yeah, that, that, today was just a really tough day for that wide receivers. Yeah, assuming uh, that Tim Patrick is out out for the season, uh, it's trending toward Tim Patrick, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, and KJ Hamler having never played a full game together. And it's just incredible to think about when you think about the resources there. One guy, uh, this is number three on our list today, who could end up playing a bigger role because of all this is Marvin Mims, second round pick, rookie has been dealing with hamstring injuries over the course of the offseason program, but he's been out there a little bit more and a little bit more the last two days, and they could end up counting on him in a way that you may not have thought uh, when they drafted him a couple months ago. Yeah, when you looked at that the deal from Marvin Mills, you, you saw the, the talent was there. This guy has a, he's a, speed, a speedy guy, can be a deep ball, deep ball through for yep. Russell Wilson, but when you going into the season, you already knew your top three guys was uh, Judy, Patrick, and Sutton. So you wasn't sure, all right, what type of role he would have yep. in year one, and looking like he has a chance to have a much bigger role in the offense. And that for him to be out, to see him ramp up uh, today, and Payne's um, talking about how encouraged the team is about yep. his him coming back from that hamstring injury. I think that's huge, especially what happened with Hamler and Tim Patrick. One thing that, that uh, he has working in his favor, he's widely regarded as being a really smart kid. He picks, picks things up fast. So you're sort of hoping, you know, mental reps maybe get overblown, but that he's sort of gained a little bit of familiarity with the offense, even though he hasn't been out there a whole lot. Uh, putting a bow on things today, Ryan, number four, maybe finally at least until week five we we might be done with this whole like sean payton aaron Rodgers, jets thing uh, sean got asked today about rogers calling him insecure and all that and i think he had his answer was about four words i think we're past that or so, something like that is this thing finally settled at least until the jets and the broncos play in october i think it's settled for now it's i don't know what more can we get out of this uh sean payton got out there uh, he defended his quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, defended his coach. Something we, we obviously you expect to happen. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Rodgers' relationship with Nathaniel Hackett, he has a really strong relationship with him going back to their time in Green Bay. So he kind of knew he probably felt some type yeah. of way towards Sean Payne's remarks. But I think at this point, 
Uh, I think it's like Sean Payton said, we're past it, we're moving forward. Obviously it's gonna get brought up once again when they play each other in week five, but for but for right now it's 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 like the, yeah, put it water under the bridge for God. now. Week five, extra yeah. spicy. Uh the Monday today, obviously tough day for the Broncos. Uh, Tim Patrick going down, waving KJ Hamler, ton of stuff going on. Check out Denverpost.com slash Broncos for all the latest for Ryan on Parker. Thanks for watching.